Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a pretty cool little program called UMenu16 and this was actually posted over on my form site osforms.net by actually the uh, creator of this program uh, UMenu16 and essentially what this is is a uh, program manager replacement for Windows 3.1. So you can see from this image here that what it essentially tries to do is to really slim down the Windows 3.1 program manager into just this small button up here uh, called the U menu, which you know you can then access and uh, you know perform all of the same functions that you would through the program manager just in this very slim lined interface. And I just thought that this would be a very cool uh, piece of software to showcase on video because it's uh, essentially a piece of software made by an independent developer that uh, is for a very niche audience for you know those people who uh, still use Windows 3.1 or want to experiment with Windows 3.1 but for whatever reason just don't like the program manager or they just want a more simplified interface and what's kind of funny about this as you can kind of see from my uh, post down here is that uh, somebody actually on one of my videos commented and asked me to take a look at this very same piece of software but it wasn't the author here yeah so i guess that some of you guys want to see this so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it first thing that i, I want to uh, briefly go over is the website here you can find it at umenu16.xyz and the website is very beautifully designed it's a very nice uh, you know simple functional website you've uh, got this nice logo here you can actually test drive it in the browser which is pretty cool um, I was not able to get this to work when I tried it and what's also very cool is this is a open source uh, project so you can actually go on here and view the source code over on github and uh, have all of these files here you can modify them do a fork of this project whatever that you want to do uh, he is you know uh, releasing this to the public through an open source license which is definitely very nice uh, very awesome and of course you have the download link right here and if we scroll down here it just gives you some more uh, basic information about the project uh, why you would want to use this and it gives you some screenshots of it as well so I've already gone ahead and downloaded this software and I've put it into a Windows 3.1 uh, actually a Windows 3.11 virtual machine right here and we're going to be uh, you know installing this seeing how this works and basically what this is all about so without any further ado let's just go ahead and run the setup process here so it uh, comes up with this little dialogue saying this will install umenu16 do you wish to continue uh, kind of similar to the Calmira setup I think this may actually be using the same installer program that uh, Calmira used to install so we're going to go ahead and just click on next we're going to install uh, create the program group umenu16 and click on install and that is it uh, it's a super fast install process we'll just go ahead and click on finish and we will go ahead and launch umenu16 so whenever you launch the umenu16 program this is what you're going to be presented with up at the very top left corner of the screen up here it's this little menu button that says or that has the U menu logo on it and just says menu and this is all there is to it. it's just this very simple menu as the author said on the website for U menu 16 that this was designed by the keep it simple stupid philosophy where the author is just trying to make this as simple to use as basic and easy to understand as possible but to still provide the functionality of launching desktop applications and it does a very effective job at that so you can see that we've got a few different folders in here we've got accessories games main network system we've got an about box and we can actually quit out of the program from here so one thing that this program does not do is it is not linking these menu options up here to the respective program groups essentially what I mean by that is you can see that this accessories uh, menu up here when I open it up you've got all these options in here and this is what normally by default in Windows 3.1 would show up in the accessories program group but if you were to modify the accessories program group like I have here and I've purposely taken out the terminal program and I've moved it into the umenu16 program group you can see that when I go back into umenu go into accessories you can see the terminal is still there so this is a, basically this is just the way that the program is and you're not able to customize what these options are at least in this first initial version here but what this program does do is it enables you to launch all of the default uh, programs that come bundled with Windows 3.1 
right from this menu here. So while you're not going to be able to customize it and add your own uh, shortcuts to third-party software that you install, you are able to launch the uh, the standard regular programs from Windows 3.1. So I wouldn't say that this is a program manager replacement because there is some functionality that the program manager has that this menu does not. But it is definitely, at least to me, it's honestly a little bit more convenient to just launch it from this menu here instead of having to go into the program uh, manager and you know, let's say that you have a window open and the program manager is behind that window. You would have to move that window around, you know, change what your active window is and then launch a program from here. Whereas with you menu, it's always up here at the top left corner and it's just a few clicks away from just, you know, opening the terminal if you want to. And it's extremely simple. So let's go ahead and view the about box here. We'll just go down to about. And this is what it says right here, UMenu 16 version 1.0. It's uh, licensed under the GNU General Public License V3. And he's got the website and the GitHub page in here. So definitely very cool. Again, just a very, very simple program. And when you want to quit out of it, all you got to do is just go down here to the quit uh, option and click on OK. And you can quit out of UMenu 16 that easily. So that is essentially it. That is a quick, brief overview of UMenu 16. I just want to give a huge thank you to the author for spending time and developing the software for me to showcase here on video and for you guys to use. I think this is definitely a very cool little piece of software that I think you know some of you guys out there watching this video will find useful, whether you use it on a real computer, a real uh, older DOS machine or a Windows 3.1 VM like I'm doing here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload new videos in the near future, which I do every week on this channel. And be sure to drop me a comment letting me know your thoughts on this program. Is this something that you would use? Is this something that you, that you think could replace the Windows 3.1 program manager? Uh, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, be sure to follow that link down below to the video description to this website if you want to actually download this and try it out for yourselves. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.